hi all in this video we will see java part 6 as part of this video we will see list set map means these are all comes under collections in java collections means is a collection of values so for to achieve that we have list set and map and collections are very much helpful that we have some limitations in array right it will be in the fixed size we cannot add the values in the runtime so to overcome all those things we have collections in the collections we have different type of collections those are called list set and map we have so many but these are all important so we'll see list set map okay what is list what is set what is map how to use all these things we'll look into this so first we'll go to the list list is a common data structure that is used to store a collection of data List can be used to store varying amount of data where the number of items is only determined at runtime. Right? Just we, I, I said that in the runtime also you can add the data. It can store multiple sets of data. List can also be used to store large amount of data. List can store duplicate values. List allows positional access and insertion of elements. Okay. It will accept duplicate values by using position means index. We can insert, otherwise we can access. Access means we can retrieve the values. Okay. List is to list is used to store large amount of data. Okay. So we'll see what is list. Then we'll move to the set and then map. First, I'll go to Eclipse. I'll create a package, new package, collections, new class, list, demo, here how you initialize an array so for that we have one of the classes called array list okay array list and you need to mention what kind of data you are storing string you need to mention in like this and i'll say names is equals to new array list of This is syntax, but I need to import this array list from java.util package. You see java.util. You hover on that, it will give me suggestion that use array.list. You see that? Import java.util.array list. So array list names is equal to new array list, and it is what kind of data you are storing. You need to mention that is in this less than and greater than symbol, you need to mention string. Okay, here now what we'll do? Add the values to the list. Okay, so how you can do that? Names. As I already told you that array list is a class. Class means you will have a number of methods. So dot add you need to add. I say ram. Okay, names dot add i'll say robot dot add i'll say rahim i added three names okay so after adding the three names i need to know that whether the three values are added or not I, how i do know it how i do know it then you need to get the size of that list size of the list so how you do that int list size is equals to names dot you have one of the method called size array we have length here the method is size so now s out size of the List is you need to append this 
list size all right so i added three names then it should give me three right so when i run this you see size of the list is three all right and then what i can do i'll add one more value in the run time means after adding something i'm adding one more i say john okay i added john now i need to find the size and i need to print that now it should become four right here i added three i added one more here then it become four so when i run this you see that first time it is four after adding one more name it became four right first it is three after adding it is four right so that's fine now how you read the data from the list okay we'll see read the data from the list right so here we have one of the methods called i say string first name what is the first name names dot we have one of the methods called get get of index okay you need to mention first is zeroth index right there we have names of zero in the arrays here we have another one method called get so now i'll print that so first name then i say first name right when i run this you see ram ram is the first name right ram is the first name i am getting that if i say second name i'll say second name names that get of 1 and the second name i'll print here right if i print now this is that i am getting robert right in the same way how you can get the last i will get the last name i'll say names dot get of names dot size right minus 1 right from 0 right so let's when i run this what it will give me see john the last name what i added in the middle john right ram robert rahim then i added john so the last value is john right it is giving me perfectly now i want to print all the values now i want to print the all values so print all values using for loop okay we have seen for and for each right we'll use both we'll use both here so what i'll do for int i equals to 0 i less than names dot size right names dot size from 0 it's starting right i plus plus then what i'll do is out names dot get of i right this i is 0 1 2 3 until it reaches names dot size i less than names dot size if both are equal then it will come out of that loop the reason is this is less than this okay when i am printing this one what i'll do i'll put a separator here okay now i will print you see that ram robert rahim john i am getting everything right so same same 
very similar to array but there you cannot add the values in between beyond that how much you initialize that's it here it is global in nature list is global in nature if you want to add n number of values you can add then i'll use for each loop right for each loop for each you see that string string names if you want proper name i can say name from all the names it will put one by one and it will print how it will print this out name that's it when i run this you see same output here also here also it is using for loop it is using for each loop right i can add the values using position right i'm saying using position we can access we can insert right we list all those positional access and insertion access we already seen position using index only we are getting the right but how you can add if you directly add it will add at the end of the list that we already seen when i add john john added at the end but i want to add at the first position i want to add at the first position then how you can add right so what i'll do add values using position so names dot add you see one more method add int index string element integer what in the 0th position i want to add peter okay then i want to print these values i want to print all the values right when i run this now you see that peter in the top the first name why in arrays if i say i of 0 then it is overriding the value but here it is inserting that position and the ram moved to the next position initially ram is in 0th index when i added in the 0th index peter ram moved to first index it is not overridden okay you need to remember that you need to understand that i want to add the name wherever i want in the third index i want so i'll simply say here instead of 3 i'll say instead of 0 i'll say 3 when i run this you see that 0 1 2 3 so it's third index peter added right this is how you can use position to insert the values add or insert values so is that possible to remove the values is that possible to remove the values will give a try remove values so we have one of the methods called names dot remove you see int index if you say 0 zero, zero is index value will so what you can do remove before remove i'll use the separator again and i'll print the same thing Now if I run this, you see here Ram is the first position. I removed that here, so Ram gone. It printing from the Robert, Rahim, Rahim, Peter, John. Ram is not there. The reason is in the zeroth index, what is the value I removed? In the zeroth index, I have Ram. I removed. That is the reason it is printing only the next values. Okay, this is how you can remove the values using remove method. okay so i'll take separator again we discussed that we can add duplicate values right we can add duplicate values so what i'll do names dot add i already removed ram right i add ram ram okay 
So again, names dot add ram. Okay. Now we'll print the same thing. I'm adding ram two times. When I run this, you see ram, ram. What happened? Duplicate values added, and the same values names dot add of um, zero comma again ram. Okay. In the first position also, I'll get ram. You see that ram, then Robert, Rahim, Peter, John, then ram, ram. Okay. This is how it will accept duplicate values. So we added duplicate values also. So we can do so many operations when you take list. If it is array, you have some restrictions, right? So that is the reason array list concept came, collections concept came. So array list name is called new array list. You need to initialize something like this. Add method will add the values, and the size will give you the size of your array. Get method will give you the option to get the values means retrieve the values get of 0 get of 1 using index and then we can add the names using position we can remove and we can add duplicate values we have seen all these things right what we discussed then we'll move to the set set is a collection of objects where all elements are unique and with no duplicates so what is the difference between list and set? The first difference is list allows duplicate values, but set will not allow duplicate values. The elements in set are not ordered and there are no repeating values. So how you adding? It is adding in the same way in the list, but in set we cannot predict the values how is adding. Okay, these are the two differences and this is very unique in set. So we'll take one example and we'll see how set will work. New class set demo. So to achieve set, we need to use one of the classes called hash set. Has set. You need to mention the same way what kind of values you are storing. I'll take the same names is equals to new hash set. Right. So hash set, you need to take hash set. So add the values. How you add the values? Names dot same method add. Right. I'll add the same values. Names dot and of wrong robot names that add right. Okay, so what is the size int set size is equals to names dot we have the same method size now we print set size is set size okay I have three values you see set size is three now if I add one more value names dot add I'll say John previously in the list it is added at the end right so before that, first I'll print, before adding this one, first I'll print the values, okay. I'll use for each loop. Then I'll print names, I'll say string, okay. First we'll execute, I added Ram, Robert, Rahim. When I execute this, you see, Robert, Rahim, Ram. There is no order. We cannot predict the order while inserting. But how many times you run it will give me the same output Robert Rahim Ram but while adding we don't know 
in what way it will add okay so now if i add one more value names dot add now i'll print again before that i'll take a separator okay so if i print now you see that john added here not at the end robert rahim john and then ram okay we don't know the order of insertion okay now i'll try to add duplicate values then how you retrieve the data right how you retrieve the data names that you do not have get method the reason is how you know that where the element is right how you know where the element is i don't know so that is the reason we cannot get the data so to get a particular value we need to use one of the interface is called iterator but now we'll try to add duplicate values okay duplicate values names dot add john i'll say peter All right so i'll add peter three three times okay. now i'll try to print this okay so when i run this you see that peter added added the second position but only one peter i added three peters but only one peter added means it will not allow duplicate values so we cannot add duplicate values in the set and how to iterate through uh, over the set that we will discuss in the selenium classes selenium videos so here we are trying to add duplicate values it is not allowing right insertion order we cannot predict where it will insert we don't know okay and we we cannot add duplicate values okay this is all about a set now we'll move to the next and we'll see what is the next topic so map map is collection of key value pairs okay it's not is it's not like a list and it's not like set it's combination of key value pairs each key and value pair is known as an entry so map will contain multiple entries map contains only unique keys okay it accepts only unique keys but we can have duplicate values we can retrieve the value by using key in maps how you can get the value from the map using the key that is the reason key should be unique okay you can have duplicate values but you cannot have duplicate keys how it looks like you know how to work with this we'll take an example and we'll look into that so i'll create one class called map demo so i forgot main method so how you write map we have one of the classes called hash map hash map so key value pairs what kind of values you need so i'll say integer and string key is integer value is string so i'll say the same names same example new hash map okay so i'll add names dot add you do not have add method in set sorry map hash map you do not have add method instead of that we have 
put method and you need to say in which what is the key and what is the value I say 0 sorry what it is coming compute not the compute so we need put so put key is 0 and the value is rough same same example I have taken will say the same thing so key 0 1 2 are keys these are values okay so now what I'll do I'll try to see map size how you can get that names dot same size method list set map all are having same method is out map size is map size okay I have three values so we'll see how it will give this is map size is 3 now I can add one more value names dot put sorry put key is 100 value is beta okay then size now it is 4 I added one more but 0 1 2 I need to give 3 no it's not index it's a key whatever key you can give you can give you want to give you can give I want to give 1 lakh you can give 1 lakh 300 5 6 but the associated value is for 100 the associated for this key the associated value is Peter for this 100 Peter here key is 100 value is Peter key value pay rate 100 is a key Peter is a value and both are associated if I want to get the value Peter I need to use the key 100 then only I will get Peter and this is called one entry key value pair combination is called an entry in map okay so now read the data Okay, now we'll read the data. It's out. It's out. Names dot we have get method, but it accepts object key. See, it accepts key only. So I'll give hundred. Okay names dot get of 100 so 100 is associated value is peter i'll get peter you see peter if i say one one what is the one one is associated with robert so it will give me robert you see robert right so now what i'll do i'll try to add duplicate keys it will not allow right so names dot add sorry put 100 comma john right 100 comma john now if i print 100 it will give me john overridden okay 100 is not duplicate in the 100 position previously we have peter it assumed that okay 100 value i need to replace with john it replaced peter with john that's it. So we cannot put duplicate values. But what I can do, I can put 
duplicate values names dot put in the third i'll give again ram okay again ram now what i'll do i'll access both result names dot get off ram is at third position and ram is at which position previously zeroth position so i'll give zero right both the times i'll get ram you see ram ram see in the zeroth position zeroth position i have ram in the fourth third position i have ram so values can be duplicate but keys cannot be duplicate if you put keys duplicate the value will be replaced okay this is how map will work so we'll see i want to print all the values i want to print all the values how you can do that right so i cannot use index if it is index i can say 0 1 2 from 0 to this i can say but here i need to use keys get off key only i'll get not get off index but key i don't know it may be 1 7 150 140 10 1 lakh i don't know there is no pattern if it is index plus 1 0 1 2 3 one order will be there but coming to the these keys i don't know what key i'll give so i cannot use normal for for loop and for each loop so in the for each loop what i can do here to print all the values i'll take separator we have another way for i need key right key is integer so integer key colon names dot will have key set this key set will contain all the keys okay this key set will contain all the keys so for each means i'll take one key i'll put here then i'll how i'll print right? names dot get off key right what will happen in the names dot key set will have all the keys one by one so 0 1 2 100 100 like that so it will give me one one is integer right i am storing in the integer get off one the second value two something like that it will give me only keys the key set will give so i'll put one put one by one and i'll access the data okay when i run this you see that ram robert rahim ram john it will give me all the values this is how you can work with map according to your requirement you need to choose which collection i need to use whether it is list set map it purely depends upon the requirement right we have seen in the collections list set map so list allows duplicate values set will not allow duplicate values but coming to the map it will not allow duplicate keys but it will allow duplicate values okay i have taken the same example to demonstrate all these things then it will be very clear how it is working if it is a list how it will be if it is set how it will be if it is map how it will be right we have seen all these things okay so that's all in this video thank you